Hello, my name is Tine and today I'll make an adapter to put any camera on magnetic arm. I was thinking how to put the camera on machine closer to cutting tool. With articulate arm was the answer. I got a camera arm, but got only one quarter treat on both end. This fits pretty much everywhere, but not on machine. So I got an idea to use magnetic arm I use for measures with micrometer. That arm got magnetic stand, but on other side is clamped for two type of micrometers. That means that I need something between to mount the camera on that arm. So let's make it. First of all I draw a sketch, make some measurements and write dimensions for easy work. Ok, this is what I want to sketch. Really simple adapter. On one side is 8mm axis to clamp into arm and on other side is one quarter camera treat. In the middle is a bigger knurled part for a better grip. Then I take a piece of aluminium, align it from side and turn it to dimension 6.35mm for treat, about 8mm long. Repeat that step on other side. I make here axis about 10mm long and 8mm diameter. I want that diameter precise, so it will slip easily into clamp but still hold solid when tighten it. Cut the edges and make some space for treat cutting tool. And now the treat. I got this engineer book but can't find anything about the treat into. So I just make some measurements and try to make it. This cheap treat is just rolled, so it's not good for taking measurements, but ok. Pitch try to measure with metric treat gauge and look like 1.25 pitch fit just ok. So I can set the gear ratio on my lathe to pitch 1.25. That means that every turn of the chuck, cutting tool will move for 1.25mm. And then simply cut a treat. I cut about 0.1mm at once. Make a test and do a few passes more. When the treat matches, send them to nice finish. Then I mount the knurling tool. It'd be better if I make that step when I got solid piece of aluminium. Because forces there are pretty big, so axis and treat can be damaged. For extra support I help with life center. When the grip is knurled I just cut the edges and the parts done. And that's the part I need. Treat fits perfect and also shaft fits easy into arm clamp. But before I put it into use, I'll make one more thing. Anodizing. With anodizing we can paint aluminium parts and also make a thin protection on its surface, so it won't scratch that fast. And that's the finish adapter. I'm pretty happy with the result. Now I need to make a test. It's hold GoPro without problem, but on GoPro 7 I got aluminium housing and treat here need to be shorter, so I make a plastic washer that treat won't damage the GoPro. Now I can attach the arm on any steel surface and mount the camera in almost any position. I really like that arm, you just set the position and block it with a single knob. And it's surprising rigid. I definitely go to buy an 11 inch version. That one is 7 inch. Let's take a look at a few examples now. As you can see the clips taken with the GoPro 7 Black is not that good because it's too close and the GoPro isn't that good at macro. Look like I must buy a macro lens adapter for it, but today I try something different. Yes, I take off the GoPro and try attach a Sony A6000 to the Cell 30 macro lens. Arm itself and adapter don't got problem with weight at all, but the clips was bad anyway because of vibrations caused by the camera. The A6000 got really bad treat on the button. I already got a problem with the gimbal because of that. So I try also with Sony A6500 and Zeiss 50 macro lens on. Much much better. But here I got arm attached to a spindle, so it's normal that there's some vibration. I also try on a late, where is less vibration. But the clip is even worse. That's because the Sony A6500 got stabilized sensor. Look like small vibration really mess up the stabilization of sensor. When I turn stabilization off, the clips become awesome smooth. 
Now let's see a few more photos and clips and that's it for today. Like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.